hey what's going on guys welcome back with a brand new video into my channel apex so guys here today in this video i'm gonna show you the best setting for the amd radeon which is the optimal for the all the old and new pc if you have a low end or high end pc so guys this video is really help out you to getting the best performance in the game so guys with wasting any time let's go straight into this video but before starting this video if this is your first time here into my channel apex so guys make sure to subscribe it and also turn on the notification therefore you never miss out any video from my this channel so guys with wasting any time let's go straight into this video so guys first of all simple you need to just right click here and go for the amd radion software if you don't have the amd radion software so just guys first of all you need to just go on to the side of amd and just update your driver here is the website i will also give you the link of this side into the description so just go there and download the latest driver for your operating system so just guys click here on the download button and just update your driver onto the latest version just after updating it onto the latest version guys you will see here this is the simple interface so just first of all you need to just go into the setting button and first of all reset your all the setting so just first of all click here onto this reset button and perform the reset and just after resetting your pc you need to just follow out my these step first step just go into the graphic sections and just follow out all of my these setting First of all, if you are playing online game, so just go with the eSport gaming and if you play offline game, so just click here onto the gaming section. Just after doing this, now here is the next step. If you are playing online game, so just guys make sure to surely enable out these options because it is really help out you to reduce your the input delay in the game. But if you are playing offline games like GTA 5 offline, so just guys disable out these options. Next, here is the radion shield, so make sure to guys disable all this option. It is also really decrease your FPS. And here is the radion boost. This is really help out you if you want to boost up your FPS. Just enable all these options and just set the minimum resolution onto the 66.6%. And now here is the radion ember shopping. So just enable all these options for getting the best quality of your game and getting the smooth and sharp texture in your game. But I will also recommend you to just disable out these options. Next guys, here is the Radeon Enhancing, so just also enable all these options if you are playing online games or offline games because I try out these options and it gives me the best or the smooth gameplay in the game. I play Fortnite or the Apex Legends like that game and this option is really help out me to getting the smooth gameplay experience in my match. So guys, next here is the Advanced Sections. Here is the anti aliasing so just set it onto the override application setting or you can also set it onto the use application setting. But I will recommend you to go with the all wide application setting. Here is the level of the anti leasing, so just set it on to the 2x. Here is the anti leasing method, so just set it on to the multi sampling. Next, here is the morphological anti leasing, so just disable out these options. Here is the filtering options, so just you can also enable out options for getting the improved texture clarity. But I will not recommend you to enable all these options because it is also reduce out your FPS in game. But if you want to get the best experience or the best quality of your game, so you can enable out these options. Next guys, here is the texture filtering quality. So just set it onto the standard. Go for the format uh, optimization of surface. So just enable all these options. And here is the tabulation mode. So just set it onto the use the application setting. Next OpenGL, just disable all these options because it is not work onto the DirectX 10 11 version so just here is the GPU workload set it onto the graphics tab and just perform the reset cache just click here on the perform and just click ok and now go for the display setting so guys here is the display section so from here you need to just disable out the super virtual resolution for reducing your input delay in the all the games here is the GPU scaling so just also disable out these options if you are playing onto the stretch resolution so just disable out these options here is the scaling mode set it onto the full screen you can also set it onto the preserve resolution but if you are playing with the stretch so just set it onto the full screen here is the integer scaling so just disable out these options here is my other display specs you can also check it out here and guys now here is the custom resolution you can also create a custom resolution as you can see here i have created a custom resolution which is my stretch and i also use in the fortnite which is the 1440 and the 1080p set it onto the 60 hertz and just also change out the uh, timing display onto the same resolution which is the 1440 or 1080p and just select out the timing standard onto the CVT reduce blinking and just click here onto the save button and just after saving it you can also use out into the display setting and just change out your resolution according to your need 
but I use probably the native resolution which is the 9020 by the 1080p so guys here into the journal tab now you need to just fold out all of my the settings so first of all if you have used the instant replay so just disable out this options at this time because it is really help out you to boosting up your fps if you are using this option so it is really cause the fps drop in your game so just so guys make sure to disable out its options here is the desktop record so just also disable out its options now here is the other recording settings so just leave out the setting go for the preferences and just disable out all of the settings from here because it is also help out you to getting the best performance on your amd next guys go for the performance tab go for the tuning sections and from here you can just overclock your gpu for a specific game if you want to overclock for your internal or the global tuning so just set it onto the global tuning and just click here onto the overclock your gpu and it will give you the best performance of your gpu but it will increase the temperature of your gpu you will see here i have the 66 it is also a uh, high temperature because i'm playing game on my pc at that time so therefore i'm getting the high temperature so just after uh, if you want to set it onto the specific game so just go for the add game profile and just select out your game now go for the tuning options click on the fortnite and just set it onto the overclock your gpu for getting the best performance in the game just guys after doing the setting just close out this window and now just go for the advanced setting of a window and optimize over cpu or over gpu for the best performance now just guys go for the display sections and go into the graphic settings and just select out the your game which you play on your pc so i play fortnite or gta 5 so just go into the browse button and just locate out your game and select out the exe file or the launcher file of your game and just click ok and add the file here click here on the fortnite or any other game you add here go into the options and just set it on to the highest performance and just save out the setting just after doing the setting now we are going to optimize over cpu for gaming so just for this you need to just go into the search tab and just type here run and press enter now just type here ms config and press enter and here is the system configuration tab go into the boot sections advanced setting and just click here on the number of processor and set it onto the four or the maximum number you have click ok apply the setting and click ok again and reset your pc next guys now we are going to optimize our game for the best performance so here is the game booster which is the voice game booster i use the software literally from the last previous two months and it will give me the best performance before playing my game i just open up this app and just click here on the optimize button and it will clear out all the clothes or and all of the background application which is running in my background and free up a lot of my ram and the my cpu usage so guys after just clicking on the optimize button minimize the software and just play out your game and it will give you the best performance in the gaming so guys here is the last step and it will really help out you to boosting up your gaming experience so now we are going to optimize your window for the best performance in the gaming for this just need to go into the window setting and just go for the privacy tab and just turn off all of the background application which is running in your background and cause the lag or fps drop in your game for this guy just need to go into the background applications and just make sure to turn off these options and it will disable out all of the background running applications on your pc just after doing this now you need to just go for the home sections and now go for the gaming from here disable out the expo gaming bar go for the capture and just also disable out these options from here go into the gaming mode and just turn off these options and just try out your game if it is giving the best performance in the game so just guys leave out these options and if you are getting the low fps so just guys make sure to try out once again with turning on these options but it will give me the best performance with the game mode off so therefore i will recommend you to just try out with the game mode off now go for the home sections and go for the update and security go for the update window and update your window onto the latest version because it is fix out a lot of bugs on your pc and also boost up your fps in different games after just updating your window go for the delivery optimization and make sure to also disable out these options because it is also increase the performance of your gaming or of your pc so just after doing this window setting close out this and go for the device manager and just update all the driver of your pc and just after updating it go for the system devices and disable out the high precision event timer and it will fix out your high cpu usage on your pc right click here go for the disable device and just disable out these options guys i'm using the software from the last six months and it will give me the best performance in the gaming 
and also fix out the stutters in my game. So guys just after doing the setting you will get the best performance in gaming on your PC. So guys also make sure to tell me in the comment section what are you thinking about this video and make sure to subscribe and leave a like onto this video. So guys let the next video Allah Hafiz and bye bye.